What's Up 2017 vlog. Ah, uh, you guys. So, my album is officially out. I just posted a vlog about the behind the scenes of it, so you guys already know it's out. But today is like the day it came out, and I am like overwhelmed by all the support right now. I'm, I, I haven't really delved into it, which I'm going to tonight, like reading all the comments and everything, because I get, whenever I have a new album or a new music video come out, those are the things that I'm like, I mean, new videos always, like daily, I love it so much. I love like reading responses, that's why I do daily videos. But with these big projects that I put a lot of me into, like my time, my soul, my heart, my energy, like just everything, it means so much to me to like read responses and feedback and stories if you can relate to the song if why you like the songs like i I've, I've already been reading some and it's just so so cool like i don't know if i could ever explain the feeling and i don't even know if everyone could feel the feeling like if you put out an album like anyone could do that i don't know if it would be the same for everybody i don't know it's just it's just this weird like spiritual feeling that i get or spiritual i don't know i don't know how to describe it like some sort of <laughs> what is that like endorphin something there's something in it that just really motivates me makes me feel good makes me feel like I'm doing something makes me feel worth something and I don't know it's it's such a weird feeling and something especially like songs and stuff that are so personal I just I just love here I just love hearing people like relate to it because it makes me feel like I'm not alone you know it really uh, sorry this one's kind of um my lips are always so chapped. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. I'm sorry, I have my sunglasses on. So impersonal, I have a lot of them. A lot of matching zits, and that's beautiful. Some people have matching piercings. I have matching zits on my cheek. Um, but I'm just going all over the place. Um, where was I going with that? It was something really important I wanted to say. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Just thank you guys so much. You know, it's not. People think I'm doing all this for like money. I, guys, I don't, I don't make money off my music. I really don't. I mean, I'll be lucky to break even, but with music videos and stuff, I don't make, I don't make money. I put, you know, when I do a sponsored video, I put that into my music in my music video. So it's like, I guess, breaking even, but it's not from record sales. So that's not important to me. It's really cool when it does well and you guys love it. Like that's awesome. And like honestly, just seeing it on charts, like, is really cool to me. Um like more than a monetary value if that makes sense and I don't know how else to explain it other than just being so like transparent with you guys like I don't make money off this like I'm not getting rich off my music you know what I mean um so anyways uh not, not the point of all that the point of all this is like it truly does make me feel like I'm doing something for myself artistically sorry for all the bumps and creatively and you know it's cool when you guys can like relate to it um going to dance rehearsals right now for my warrior music video which we're shooting in three days which is crazy so usually it's like a week or two it's usually a few weeks before we do a music video and i'll know ahead of time because the, you know production and stuff has to plan and i have this Kyrie shirt that i cut but it doesn't really look like i have cut it looks like it's still choking me Kyrie for life and so uneven um but because of the holidays and new year's eve or new year's day and then the day after new year's day was a holiday like we really I mean, today I'll just tell you what is it is. Today is January 5th. Um, like, we really just heard back from a lot of, like, the location. The location I wanted is really, really popular, too. So, <laughs> the fact that we were booking it really last minute, like, literally within days before our shoot, was, like, kind of surprising. But the good thing about it is if you book something, like, last minute, like, trips and stuff like that, like, you you can get in on those cancellations. I mean, it's taking a, a big risk. It's, like, being on standby for a flight or something. Um, you're taking, like, a risk of it not being available. But, you guys, also the other thing I wanted to clear up, um... Oh, my skin looks so bad. Um, was about, oh, when I was recording this, so that everyone was like, well, not everyone. There's a few comments. They were like, oh, so you're recording this when you were making, like, your videos crying on the floor and the chicken nugget video and what have you? No. Let me explain. Mm -mm. In fact, none of this would have come about if probably if I hadn't made those videos because my co-writer and co-producer on this album um, reached out to me weeks after shit went down um because he he was close to the situation i'll put it that way it wasn't just some random but he was close to the situation and he didn't know if it was right he didn't know what my response would be it took a big risk like reaching out to me he's just like i just am trying to hopefully help you move on or move along or cope with what you're feeling and it was after all this so we literally did and if you watch my vlog again i don't know if i really say dates but that was three days before christmas we did the whole album three days before christmas so shit went down december 9th i think 
no, it was not in my head to do music. It wasn't in my head to do anything. I, I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to swallow in misery. Like I, I sometimes I like to soak in my own misery because I don't know. Everyone loves to have a pity party for themselves and play victim, right? You know, everyone loves to do that sometimes for themselves, especially when you're really hurting and you just can't do anything else. However, these songs and these music in the sky, I did know I've, I, it's a really long story. And I think over time I'll be able to tell the story right now. It's all so fresh and new still, but it's good and all positive, but there's a story and that's how this all came about. But no, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't crying. And then the next day I'm being like, let's go sing some music. I will say, I mean, two of the songs, Warrior and Did This To Yourself were like, it took me there. Like a couple times, I mean, the engineer was just like, are you okay? Like, cause it just, it took me there. It took a lot out of me. And I just had a lot of emotion and anger and hurt, not just from the previous situation that happened last year, but from life, my life. I, you guys, you know, you know, if you've been here for any amount of time, I've dealt with the same same issues abandonment loneliness <sighs> just it's just it was just a lot but anyways so that's what i'm doing i haven't had now i have the biggest thing of water because i'm really trying to clear my skin up always before music videos i always like stress the fuck out i get stress pimples so oh and i'm excited for my new choreographer he's real excited too i know him mm. I don't know if you guys are gonna see him today, but you'll definitely see him on the set of the music video. And he has a dancer. I actually asked him to be in the video originally, but other circumstances, things just all happen for a reason. So anyways, I'm about to go up and get my dance on. I love this shirt. Anyways, I will see you guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Oh my gosh, you guys, it has been a minute since I have been down to this dance studio. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing Nike pants. You would think I was sponsored, hashtag sponsored by Nike, hashtag never in a million years. <laughs> Um, it's been forever since I danced at this dance studio. It was the first one that we just danced in um, before we went to the other one. But it's rainy, no one's out right now in Hollywood. It's like gloomy. But I just downloaded my album off iTunes just because like I hadn't seen it yet on iTunes. I think it was on Apple Music and I just downloaded it. I was listening to it in the car, like literally right after I vlogged, I found it and I was like, oh my gosh, I was listening to the car. It's like so cool to listen to your own music <laughs> in the car. Um, so, anyways, I was starting with Thick, and I didn't even get through all that all the way because I got here. But yeah, super duper excited to meet these boys. Yeah! And, um, so crazy how empty it is here. <laughs> Museum of Broken Relationships. Literally me. <laughs> dance rehearsal went great um I probably have a clip of it I inserted somewhere in this video sorry this is not focusing on my thighs but now I'm gonna have some dinner before I head to the gym I'm gonna have this clean cuisine which is only 250 calories so if you are a cheese fanatic a mac and cheese fanatic this is a great option without all that butter and milk I mean I'm sure it has some in there but 250 calories you can't beat it and sugar is like I've been looking at sugars lately sugar is five grams I guess it's good I don't know maybe I don't know but I know it's like frozen, so if you're like not into frozen foods, like whatevs, I gotta clean my house too. But it's a nice little like dinner and like kind of something before the gym. I know a lot of people eat after. I don't know, I like to go to bed like on somewhat of an like, empty stomach to just literally pop it in the microwave. Cooking with Trish. And oh my gosh, I see I'm recording. And then um, timer, cook time. Two and a half minutes. And we start. Yum! So, yeah, dance rehearsals went really, really great. I'm really, really happy and excited. Cedric is um, so cool. Sorry, my house is so messy. He's so cool. Like, so cool. Like, I can't wait to vlog with him because he's actually cool. I like to, like, feel people out and stuff. I don't like to, like, vlog and make people uncomfortable. He was, like, the coolest person ever. And um, my dancer, Shane, um, is amazing, too. He's a young guy. and so young. When I saw him, I'm like, ah, how old are you? It's so weird to see young people like I always thought I would think of myself as young um but no 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 there's like young and out there again it's crazy because a lot of my friends you know as you get older obviously your friends get older too so you just think oh we're still young and then you actually meet babies and he's so cute and so sweet and 
like I love like young dancers better than older dancers because they're just more excited about stuff I guess that makes sense I don't know anyways so yeah let's eat that got another one of my gigantic Evian bottles ready to drink and yeah things are working out cut up my Nike shirt that's what I'm doing tonight mm, so excited to eat this <laughs> so this is the final like product you kind of just like like I don't know push it around in the cheese you could probably make it more presentable if you put it like in a bowl and shit but I don't even care I am just hungry and want to feed my belly. I was going to say feed my soul, but I was like, uh-uh, feed my belly because my soul does not give a fuck right now. But it's really yummy, really cheesy. It's white cheese, as you guys can tell. So if you guys don't like the white cheese, mac and, mac and cheese, you won't like it. But Atkins makes a really good, um, like, yellow cheese one. Ugh. It's breakout. But it's really good. And you don't feel, like, too full after this. It's, like, just, it's filling enough, which is yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I know that may not look like much, but ow, right there, see right there? I just burned my hand on my oven and it stings like a motherfucker. Any tips? I know you guys are like, that's such a little minor burn, but honestly, it fucking hurts so bad. Like, I don't understand. It's like, still hurting and I did 20 minutes ago. You do this to yourself. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice, like, jab song. <laughs> like, it's a nice, like, revenge song. Um, and it's, like, not in the... And you can tell him it was only ever for the fame. 